Why build a house out of wood? It could burn down to wildfire. Then what are you going to do? I'd rather just start and stay homeless. Why keep chickens? They could all die from bird flu. Why would you bother storing gold? It's too valuable to buy anything practical with. And forget silver. No one's going to want to buy it from you. As for cash, what's the point? If your house burns down, Where's your cash? And while we're on the topic of your house burning down, what about your precious paper library? Where are all your books now? Why bother building a fallout shelter if it can't handle being hit directly with a nuclear weapon? And why stock your fallout shelter with food and supplies? You may not even make it there in time. Wear a seatbelt while you're in the car? You kidding me? What if you gently roll into a stream and then your car is filling up with water and you have to get out and you're stuck because you have your seatbelt on? Some people say, well, carry a knife in the car so you can cut your way out of the seatbelt. What if your hand's broken, asshole? A wood stove in the center of your house you can use to warm your house, warm your hands, cook and bake over? What if you... What if, you know, I, I just don't like wood stoves. Staying physically fit and healthy? What do you think, you're better than the rest of us? Besides, tomorrow, you could die in a car crash. Hidden set of keys for getting into your house? Don't even get me started on that prep. Plus, why even lock your doors to begin with? Anyone wants to get into your house? This is gonna break a window. Let's get back to that wood stove as your primary heating source. What do you think? Wood just grows on trees? You think it's just lying around everywhere? Living off in the woods in the middle of nowhere is going to save you in an emergency? Let me tell you what, when the shit hits the fan, people are going to find you and they're going to take everything you got anyway. And in the meantime, while you're off hiding in the woods, you're missing out on all that awesome air pollution and noise pollution in the city. Why have a house covered in solar panels, a solar powered greenhouse, and why have a backup system? What happens if there's no sun? A sun oven? What happens if there's no sun? Solar hot water panels? What happens if there's no sun? And what's with so many of you preppers and guns? What do you think you're gonna do if a dozen people show up at your house with a tank? Your gun gonna save you then? Uh -uh. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find There are two different types of videos that I tend to put out here on YouTube. The first category, which is my favorite, are videos that have practical skills, how-to things. Those are the types of videos that I put out and nobody tends to want to watch. The other type of video that I will oftentimes put out here are videos that have maybe more of a provocative kind of title. There's some sort of an event going on and I'll have some kind of a title to kind of drum up interest in that event and then use that as a springboard to talk about practical skills. Like I said, nobody watches the first category of videos, but the second category of videos, I do tend to get a lot of people uh, coming and watching those videos. And the sorts of people that watch those videos uh, tend to like to complain a lot. And they complain about two different things. So two different types of videos and two different types of complaints about the latter type of videos. The two different types of complaints that I tend to get about those sorts of videos are one, that the videos have a negative title, which is kind of ironic because those are the only types of videos that those types of people tend to click on. So they click on videos with negative titles and then complain about the fact that it had the type of title that drew them in to click on it in the first place because they ignore all the others. The second type of criticism that I tend to get on those videos, and that's the one I want to focus on in this video, is that it's pointless to try to prep and prepare for anything. In the intro of this video, I listed off a bunch of uh, some of them are a little bit over the top, but a lot of those are actual types of complaints that I hear from people. You know, you shouldn't do this because there's this extreme scenario that if that extreme scenario happened, this prep would be useless. Or you shouldn't do this prep because there's this other type of like extremely rare event. And if that extremely rare event happened, then that prep wouldn't uh, you know, be useful for that circumstance. That prep might be useful for all sorts of other types of scenarios, but people use the fact that there's one type of scenario that they can imagine where that prep wouldn't be useful to suggest that you shouldn't bother taking that prep at all. And this is something that goes beyond prepping, goes beyond preparedness, and really permeates, uh, infects, and metastasizes into so many parts of life for people in really a negative way into other parts of people's lives that go well beyond prepping and preparedness. Two examples I'll just drop right now are health and fitness and you know people's financial security where it's suggested it's, it's foolish for a lot of people to consider putting in effort to make their health better uh, or putting in effort to you know, improve their financial situation you know, for all the sorts of reasons that were you know, plugged in the beginning of this video. And it keeps people from really uh, doing anything to improve their, their life. And the word improvement, I think, is the critical term here because so frequently people uh, just look at where they are and they look at some kind of an imagined end goal. And if they can't imagine themselves getting to that end goal, like let's say for uh, you know health and fitness, uh, people might picture where they are and then picture some kind of like societally 
uh, unachievable kind of, uh, uh, you know, physical manifestation of their body that they might have. Like, like me being like a huge muscle guy. I just, I just don't have the frame for it. It's just not in, in, in my genes. And I could, uh, you know, when I was young, I was always like this rail thin kind of uh, kid and I'm, I'm still pretty thin, but I've taken what I've got and I've tried to do the best with it that I can. I've improved my situation. You know, my wrists, my joints are still a lot weaker than I would like them to be, but I haven't allowed that to uh, put me into a position where I'm just kind of like, well, you know, if I can't be this ideal, why, why bother doing anything at all? If I can't be a millionaire or a billionaire, why try being more financially stable at all? And that idea of where you are and some kind of a goal, a, perfect, a perfection kind of goal, keeps people from even starting down the journey and making their, their situation better, improving their situation. Let's go back to prepping and preparedness. There are all sorts of scenarios where whatever preps in the world you make, there are situations where it just won't be enough. Uh, you know, I've put in an enormous amount of work building the house that I have here. I'm in my lovely greenhouse, which uh, is great today because it's sunny outside, it's cold, there's snow uh, out on the ground outside. But it, it, in here, uh, it's it just creeping up to about 70 uh, right now in the morning by the end of the day. It might even be above 80 in here. I've put a lot of effort into making this a nice environment that is sustainable and is able to roll with the punches. If the electric grid goes down, this place is fine. Uh, you know, we don't have to worry about that type of thing. We can keep ourselves warm. You, you know, even if a, a heating truck doesn't show up with our oil because we don't use oil, we don't use natural gas, we don't use any of that kind of stuff. I've created a situation here that is really nice and really comfortable and is really beneficial for the vast majority of situations that we tend to face, uh, you know, here in this world, or honestly, I think are likely to face. Now, if an asteroid came flying down from the sky and smashed into this house, all, all the work that I put into it would be for absolutely nothing. It, you know, and people would say, well, you know, if you're not gonna build a house, you know, a mile down underground, you know, under bedrock and have reinforced blast doors, it's like, what's the point of doing anything? And that is just an excuse for people to do nothing. It is the same reasoning that people use to say, you know, why should I get up and go for a walk? Why should I get up and take a jog? Why should I get up and do any kind of physical activity? Because, you know, I could die tomorrow in a car crash, or, you know, I'm never gonna achieve that kind of perfect, uh, uh, you know, form that I envision for myself, or that more accurately that a society envisions for me. You know, so what's the point? If I can't get from zero to 100, and if there's any chance that, you know, I might not get to that 100%, you know, what's the point of even trying at all? And the point is that the majority of the time, those kind of weird scenarios, like why have a pistol in your house because, you know, a dozen people may show up with a tank, the majority of the time that doesn't happen. And the situation is such that your prep actually is enough. You know, here at our house, we have solar panels and the solar panels uh, provide us with the vast majority of the energy that our house uses. Now, there are periods of time when the sun just don't come out. Like it, it will be gone for like a week and there'll be really, really thick clouds. And during those time periods, we go back on the grid. At this, at the time of this recording, I'm thinking about installing some micro hydro so we can have kind of some low level energy drip coming into our house. And that might make it so that we don't even need to go back to the grid. But even if that never happens, just having the solar panels on our house and making it so that 90% of our power demands are met by our own self-sustaining uh, infrastructure that we have here, that has made our situation so much better. Now, yes, what happens when there's no sun? The solar panels don't give you very much. That doesn't negate all the benefits that you're getting all the other 90% of the time, you know, with that particular prep. And there are so many other different types of preps that you can do in your life where no, it's not going to function during that one, you know, hypothetical, weird kind of rare uh, event. But still, if you're prepping, you're preparing, if you're improving your health and fitness, if you're improving the financials in your life, uh, outside of those kind of weird events, you're slowly making things better and better and better and improving is the key word. It's not about going from zero to 100, it's about going from zero to one and then going from zero to two. But so many people are fine just staying at zero because they don't think they can ever get to 100%. Or they're told by people, you know, you, you may you know, be on your way there, but then like you're gonna get hit by a car, you're gonna get cancer, some kind of weird oddball disease. And it keeps people from even improving themselves. And so many people's lives are so much lesser than they could be otherwise if people just got off their butt and didn't worry about whether they ever get to 100. 
just for today, for this week, just think about getting yourself from zero to one. I don't mean to put you all, <laughs> put you all at zero, but let's say you're at like 33. Get yourself to 34, get yourself to 35. Just keep moving forward because it doesn't even matter. It never matters whether you can get all the way to 100% or not. The point is to make things better for yourself along the way. And every day that you have a better physical fitness, every day that you have a, be a better financial situation, every day that you have uh, you know, less reason to be concerned about whether the power grid goes down or whether you know, the, you're unable to get things at a grocery store because you have all the preps at home, every day that you live on the journey towards 100, which honestly I think none of us can ever actually get to, but every day that you live on that journey is a day that's improved by your being on that journey. Because if you just stay at 33, or you just stay at zero, or wherever you happen to be on that continuum, you're worse off than you would be if you were moving in that direction. So that's what I wanted to say in this video, is just encourage you guys that, yes, there are scenarios where no matter how much effort you put in in the world, it's not going to be enough. But that's not a reason not to try, not a reason not to strive, because even if you never get to that goal, the trying, the striving, I think just the effort itself makes your life a, a better life, a more enjoyable life, a more meaningful life, uh, and a more satisfying life. You gotta learn to enjoy the progress, you gotta learn to enjoy the journey, because that's all life is. In the end, none of us get out of here alive. It's about enjoying the journey, making things better for yourself and your family, uh, through that journey and when you ultimately do get to the end of that journey leaving a legacy behind you for other people to uh you know aspire to the example that you set that every single day you made things a little bit better for yourself and a little bit better for the people around you that's it thanks for watching hey youtube preppers if you enjoyed this video here's another one that i think you might like but before you click on it i wanted to take a moment to thank all the people on the right hand side of your screen they help to support all the work that i do here over at patreon.com if you'd like to join them and get your name added to the list the link's below